Hi guys, this is Miss Mona from the Tiger Room, and uh, I am so eager to be visiting with you all. We've had a great Zoom meeting with our Tiger class, um, and it's always fun seeing the faces and hearing people talk. <clears throat> um, today, I am going to be reading The Giving Tree. It's a great book. It's a wonderful story. And the illustrations are just very simple and basic. No color. It's all about the story. So, here we go. There once was a tree. She loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play he was king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing on her branches. And eat her apples. And they would go Play hide and go seek. The tree really loves him. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Aww, he's giving it a big hug. very much, and the tree was happy. But time went by. See you later. And the boy grew older. There's two people here, and two hearts on the tree. And the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, Come boy, come climb up my trunk and swing on my branches. Eat my apples and lay in the shade. Be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. I can give you some money, can you? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, and then you will have money, and you will be happy. That was very generous of the tree. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered the apples and carried them away. Then the tree was very happy. The boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and shook the tree with joy and said, Come boy, climb up my trunk, swing from my branches, be happy. I am too busy to climb, said the boy. I want a house. I want children. I want a wife. So I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you can cut off my branches and build a house. Then you'll be happy. So the boy cut off the branches and carried them away to build his house. Yeah, it's very generous with the tree. 
and the tree was happy. He had no branches, but he was happy. The boy stayed away for a long time and then came back. The tree was happy. She could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old to play, said the boy, but I do want a boat. And that will take me far away. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. Look how old the boy is. He's actually an old man now. Believe it or not. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and he sailed away. That's all that's left. And the tree was happy, <clears throat> but not really. <clears throat> There's not much left. And after a long time, the boy came back. I'm sorry, boy, the tree said, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak. For apples, said the boy, my branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest, and I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up, as much as she could. Well, I'm an old stump, and, and which is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. That was sweet. The tree was so generous. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, today, the Thunderbirds and all oh, are going to be flying over. I think they pushed it back to like 340. So hopefully the weather will cooperate and we'll all be able to see them. Um, I'm missing you guys. Oh, no. I'm keeping you in my prayers. So take it easy, and I will talk to you and visit with you again.